Good evening, Jeff. Well, as you can see and hear behind me, the celebrations are ongoing. There have been fireworks, there have been laser shows, and the crowd has not stopped cheering since the Army made its announcement. It was the moment the protesters had been waiting for. There was jubilation at the overthrow of a president they blamed for the country's economic woes and paralysis. The head of Egypt's army announced on state TV that the constitution would be suspended and new elections called. Hundreds of thousands of anti-government protesters had been waiting all day for word from the military. A sense of anticipation rippled through the air as army helicopters swooped overhead. I don't think anyone here wants the army to come back and govern the country. Uh, so I think all the cheering and all the excitement is because it's seen like the government, uh, like the army is sending a signal to the people saying we're with you, um, we're protecting you, and we realize how serious this is. These people are from all different walks of life and different political persuasions. They don't have one leader in mind who should take over, but they say finding a new leader is tomorrow's problem. Today, there is real fear of violence. Ahead of the announcement, pro-Morsi demonstrators found themselves surrounded by soldiers, armored vehicles, and barbed wire. Already, there have been clashes between the two sides, and many fear that this is only the beginning. Morsi's supporters, mostly from the Muslim Brotherhood, have refused to accept his ouster. As the news reached this rally, they booed and shouted down with the military rule. Cairo tonight is a divided city. While the people behind me may be cheering and celebrating just a few miles away, they are very angry. And the question now is just how dangerous is the rift between these two groups going to get? Another question, Clarissa. Morsi no longer president. Where is he? Well, CBS has spoken to a presidential aide who told us he doesn't know where Morsi is, but he does appear to still be active on Facebook after the military statement. He released a, a posting basically saying that he is still the president and calling on Egyptians to reject this military coup. Clarissa Ward in Cairo. Thank you.